headlines on social media and entertainment outlets in the country and across the world. But rather, we're going to focus on a newsmaker. She hit the headlines last week when she revealed that she has crossed from the secular world to the gospel world. Who am I talking about? Cecilia Warimo. That, those are her real names. But her stage name is Amani. Amani Karibu Sana Konya Show. Thank you so much, Asante. Good to have you. Uh, take us through your journey. Because Kenyans tend to believe that uh, for somebody to wake up one day and say, I've shifted from the secular world to the gospel world, there must be a trigger experience. Some experience which hmm, hit you hard and said, Hey, okay, Sasa Mimi, Sasa Navuka, Ili, Niendele Kumjua Mungu. What exactly happened? Um, for me, it was just, um, I got tired. I got very, very tired of the life that I was living then, and it was a process. So for a long time, I wasn't happy. Um, I could be backstage just about to go on stage, and I'm like, oh, wow, God, get me out of this. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I don't think I can do this anymore. And initially, I thought maybe it was... Um, like the music industry and entertainment i'd been very active for a long time so i thought maybe if i take a little break i'll feel better it never got better I, and i was like i really do not want to do this and um i just wanted to renew my relationship with god and yeah it wasn't like a major trigger experience it was a process and it started way back uh, way back when um i think around 2012 is when i was just not feeling it at all and um, I think I even got irritable, mm. you know. I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to do this. This is just getting to my nerves. But um, I had contractual obligations and I all somehow felt like I had to keep it going because yeah. it was my only source of income. Yeah. But yeah, I just talked to God and I just told him, I really don't want to do this. I want to follow you. And he made a way. Oh, I want to follow yeah. you and he made a way. And yes. you're saying back then, music was your sole source of income. Yes. And now that you've resorted to going to gospel, should we expect you, uh, should we expect to see you probably shifting from uh, the secular music that you used to sing to gospel music? Um, I have been um, out of the secular scene for two years. Um, God made a way for me and I started a hair extension company called Diva Luxury. And we've been operational for about a year now and it's been amazing. Um, in terms of getting into gospel music, I see it as ministry. I grew up in the church and I know how serious it is. It's not something you just get into for the sake of money or for the sake of fame or mm. for the sake of just yeah. being seen. It's actually a very serious thing. Yeah. And um, I'd love to do it in God's timing, in His way, just having Him through His grace lead me. It's not about me. It's about Him. Well, it's not about me. It's about Him. That's a yeah. very uh, wise nugget right there. And, and now my next question to you is um what is your general perception about the current gospel landscape it has come under sharp criticism yeah. especially from the members of the public that it's not living to the christian ministry role that it should be playing um i don't want to be one to judge because um i'm not there to like <laughs> you know scrutinize their life yeah. microscope like you did this you did that I, I i'm not one to i i'm not in a place to do that mm -hmm. But um, like I said, it's ministry. So at the end of the day, it's meant to minister to people. It's supposed to change people's lives. That's yeah. meant to be the primary you know, goal and everything. And if somebody's in it for something different, yeah. I think God knows how to sieve out. He knows how to tell the ship from the goods. Preach, sister, preach. Whoa. Yeah. I'm, I'm really loving this conversation. And uh, that brings me to this uh, a bit controversial question that we had. Uh, in June last year that um, you actually tied the knot in a secret wedding. <laughs> did, the whole of Kenya didn't get to know about it. Did it happen? Uh -huh. hmm. Not telling. Ah, mm -hmm. Tell us a bit. <laughs> Kidogo. Kidogo too. Kidogo ni. Kidogo. There's a part of my life I want to keep private. Right. Um, um, I think even during that time I reflected about so much. Yeah. Um, I had so much of my information out there and I didn't see it as healthy yeah. and there's parts of my life now I want to keep um, private. Am right. I single? No, I'm taken. You're there's taken. someone in my life, I have a life partner, a hobby, I'm happy. A hobby, you just use the word a hobby. <laughs> Should you take it literally? Huh? Should you take it literally, husband? See, a hobby is a hobby. Great stuff. <laughs> and uh, you really put your life away from uh, social media and the public for quite a, a long time yes but uh, the reports that i saw right on social media is that uh, your guy is a nigerian guy 
<laughs> ukavuka boda literally <laughs> yes yes oh that's amazing and and now bring um on to your future what does your uh, the future hold for you as a gospel musician did i use the word gospel musician are you a gospel musician yourself <laughs> where god leads i'll go i'm going with uh, god's leading because like i said it is serious um dealing with uh, soul winning and ministry is not something to take lightly so i don't take it lightly but if god directs me to go that way yeah. i'll definitely go that way should you expect any collabs between you and the uh, current gospel musicians in the country anytime soon yeah you know you know if if it happens it happens okay yeah. i'm not like blocking anything off yeah all right and a lot of people actually know amani for the musician but uh, uh, several people don't know that Amani actually pursued a bachelor's degree in international business administration. Yes. And um, somebody asked me to ask to pose this question to you: Has that degree helped you in your life? It has, um, especially in the music industry. I remember when I was building my brand and everything. I took it very seriously. Um, I had targets. I know most artists don't even <laughs> think about I had targets. Um, I had a marketing plan and yeah. everything. And even right now as an entrepreneur running my own business, it's become like so useful. It's more useful now than it was even back then. And um, yeah, I still use it. I'm still using it. Yeah. Wow. Your life really looks so much well put together. And um, <laughs> that brings me to this question. Do you it's have well any regret in life? You know, everything every piece of your life so well put together do I you do. have a regret in your life and um, which one is it i do have regrets mm. but i count it all joy everything that you go through in life you shouldn't look at it as oh my god and dwell on oh it was such a mistake and everything um i count it all joy maybe that particular incident yeah. or that sort of drama taught you a lesson and maybe that is what you can use to connect to somebody um, in maybe when you're ministering to them or anything I count it all joy there's stuff that I went through that was not very pretty and um, I count it all joy you count it all joy yeah currently what you basically do uh, you concentrate on is your business I concentrate on the business yes all right and um, for those probably wondering where can we get money merchandise uh -huh, where can they get you it's a uh, it's a hair extension line um, we distribute across the country so we are at leading hair and beauty cosmetic shops yeah all right and, and on jumia on jumia yeah amazing stuff right there if you could take a look at that camera of yours and probably talk to a young lady out there who uh, looks up to you as a role model and yeah. sees the good person in you what can you tell them uh, some sort of an advice we're living in a very fragile society today mm -hmm. and uh, having been in the industry seen it through the faces i believe you are at a position to give a nugget of wisdom which will be deemed very authoritative um all i'd like to tell them is um yes being a born again is the best decision you'll ever make in your life try it it's awesome it's amazing and you are sustained by god it's not your will or who you are or, or anything like that. It's not you. It's about him. So, yes, take the step. Whoa. All right. She says right there that being born again, uh, there's never anything wrong in being born again. And it's worth taking that particular step. We've had a money on the show. And I understand that there's a lot of political uh, functions and a lot of uh, leadership functions currently going on in that other end. And I'll hand you back to Ega Maura. But on Friday, we have another lady. Her name is Wanja Maura. She rescued her former schoolmate from the streets. And now this, uh, the guy that is Hinga is rehabilitated and we'll have Wanja Maura to talk about all that experience in that particular journey. My name is Brano Kaur. That is season and extra friends and entertainment thank you very much money thank you and looking forward to having you again on the show yeah. after you release your first song <laughs> in god's timing in god's timing yeah. that has been our time as i hand you back to uh, Higa. thank you Higa. brian i like the way she answered you uh, you clearly had nothing to say after that uh, in god's timing god's timing is the best that's right let's take you now to the different departmental committees that uh, continue vetting uh, presentations